हे फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑल अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो इन दिस सर्किट वी हैव बीन आस्ट टू फाइंड द करेक्ट करंट आईसी एंड द वोल्टेज वीसी नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग इफ यू नोटिस ओवर हियर दिस ट्रांजिस्टर इज द पीएनपी ट्रांजिस्टर बिकॉज ओवर हियर दिस एरो इज गोइंग इनवर्स दैट मीन्स हियर दिस टर्मिनल इज द इमिटर टर्मिनल वाइल दिस टू टर्मिनल्स आर बेज एन द करेक्टर टर्मिनल्स एंड हियर This transistor is biased in the voltage divider biasing configuration. So first of all, let us find the Thevenin's equivalent of the given portion. And to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, if we redraw the same circuit, then it can be redrawn like this. So for the given circuit, the Thevenin's equivalent resistance, that is R T H, is equal to 2.2 kilo ohm in parallel with 10 kilo ohm. That is equal to 2.2 into 10 kilo ohm divided by 2.2 plus 10 kilo ohm. That is equal to 1.8 kilo ohm. And similarly, if we find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage over here, then VTH can be given as 10 kilo ohm divided by 10 kilo ohm plus 2.2 kilo ohm times 10 volt. That is equal to 8.2 volt. Now we had seen that for this voltage divider biasing configuration, if this Thevenin's equivalent resistance is much less than beta plus one times the emitter resistance, in that case we can use the approximate analysis. Now over here, this resistor is the emitter resistor, while this resistor is the collector resistor. And here we have been given that the value of beta is equal to hundred. That means over here. The value of beta plus one times R E is equal to one zero one times one kilo ohm. That is equal to one zero one kilo ohm. And as it is much higher than this Thevenin's equivalent resistance, so we can use the approximate analysis. So in this approximate analysis, what we can do? We can apply the voltage divider rule for these resistors, and we can find the voltage at this node. And while finding the voltage, we can neglect the remaining circuitry. So considering this under this approximate analysis if we see the equivalent circuit then it will look like this and as we have calculated this thevenin's equivalent voltage or the base voltage vb is equal to 8.2 volt now in this circuitry this emitter base junction is forward bias right that means voltage veb is equal to 0.7 volt or we can say that voltage ve minus vb is equal to 0.7 volt That means the voltage V is equal to V B plus 0.7 volt, or we can say that the voltage at this node is equal to 8.2 volt plus 0.7 volt. That is equal to 8.9 volt. And once we know the value of this emitter voltage, then we can easily find this emitter current. So this emitter current I can be given as 10 volt. Minus V E divided by one kilo. That is equal to ten volt minus eight point nine volt divided by one kilo. And if we calculate the value, then this emitter current I is equal to one point one milliampere. And here we are assuming that this collector current I C is approximately equal to emitter current. That means the same current is also flowing through this resistor. That means we can say that this collector current I C is also equal to 1.1 milliampere. So once we know the value of this collector current, then we can easily find the voltage across this 3.6 kilo ohm resistor. And in fact, that voltage is equal to V C. So we can say that this collector voltage V C is equal to 3.6 kilo ohm resistor times 1.1 milliampere. That is equal to 3.96 volt. So in this way, we got the value of the collector voltage, and we already know that this emitter voltage V is equal to 8.9 volt. That means V is equal to 8.9 volt. So from this, we can calculate the value of V C. That means V C is equal to voltage V C minus V. That is equal to 3.96 volt minus 8.9 volt. 
that means Vc is equal to minus 4.94 volt. So in this way, using this approximate analysis, we got the value of this collector current IC as 1.1 milliampere, while the voltage Vc is equal to minus 4.94 volt.